Hello, and welcome to this session on physical disabilities. It is my pleasure to be your host today. My name is Martina Bucal, and I am a Czech Canadian award-winning speaker and leadership development coach. I work in the realm of leadership development and lecture at a business school here in France, Réunion, where I teach a course called Visionary Leadership. There, it's my job to work with some of the best minds in the world to help them develop a sense of their own leadership and how they can change the world for the better. So it's no surprise that I, like many of the leaders and innovators we'll be talking to today, I'm really passionate about seeing positive change in this world for all through both big and small actions. Both of those are really important. As such, I could not be more honored to be here today to moderate this important session on accessibility and physical disabilities. What this session is about is really about creating a more accessible world for all, while also altering the stigma that often comes with people who are perceived to have a physical disability. And to start, where I'd really like to set the scene and set the tone is to invite the people in the audience today who are fully mobile who have full access to all of their bodily senses, so sight, sound, touch, and so on, to consider that we are all a very privileged group. We exist in a world that is made entirely for people like us, by people like us. Here, in this type of world, we're able to function easily without obstacle and often without prejudice and do all of those things in life, big and small, that we really want to be doing. Whether that means being able to easily reach a kitchen cupboard to make breakfast in the morning, to driving a car, or to being part of a meaningful community where we feel that we truly belong completely without judgment. We have less obstacles to overcome from the onset as people who are fully able in this way. And we function in a world that to us is highly inclusive, but to many others is extremely exclusive. My hope from today's session is that we all see that an accessible and innovative world where each individual is empowered to be their best selves, to really be able to have access to every bit on its head, finding opportunity instead of challenge wherever possible and creating huge, huge leaps and advances when it comes to the theme of physical disability. We're going to start our session with a keynote speech. Now, this is a really special speech that we'll be getting from Almog Ale Raz, who is the founder of Cornet. And Mr. Almog Ale Raz is the co-founder and CEO of Cornet Vision. He has under his belt more than 20 years of professional experience and an extremely successful journey in the Israeli high-tech sector, managing a startup all the way to an exit and growing a global $100 million business. It's pretty significant. Five years ago, together with his friend, Dr. Lipman, a friend and a gifted ophthalmologist, they co-founded Cornet Vision, leaving prominent positions and going back to the garage with the hope of making a global impact. Indeed, that impact is now being felt in patients benefiting from their revolutionary work, which harnesses unique characteristics of microstructures of the human body to develop biomimetic implants, which mend and replace damaged tissue while mim mimicking its function. Now, I, of course, am not a medical professional or an expert in any way, so I will leave it to Mr. L.A. Raz to tell you more about his work and how it's changing the world for the better. Mr. Ali Raz, please welcome. It is fantastic to have you here today. Thank you. Thank you. Many of us travel or used to travel the world to look for the best innovations. But if you stand still and look around you, you will find that nature has an innovative approach to problem solving. That's why we chose to mimic it. My name is Almog Ali Raz, and I'm the CEO and VP R&D of Cornet Vision. Today, I'm honored to share with you how unique technology and implants offer novel solutions for physical disability by emulating elements of nature. Five years ago, Dr. Gilad Litvin and I established Cornet Vision with a very clear and precise goal, eliminating global corneal blindness. We even printed it on our back of the business cards. While some of the people we met were skeptical, I'm thrilled to say that our self-integrating artificial cornea 
just made history, returning sight to corneally blind patients that had no chance of seeing again. But before I share with you the details, let me tell you a little bit about our breakthrough biomimetic implants and technology. We all know that our tissue consists of cells, but have you ever put much thought into what holds them all together? The extracellular matrix, or ECM, built from tiny collagen fibers, acts as a skeleton of our tissue. What we're able to accomplish is to fabricate and optimize a completely synthetic, non-degradable ECM-like material. When implanted, our material goes under the radar of the immune system, and its structure stimulates cellular proliferation. It seamlessly bio-integrates with the surrounding tissue. We use this material to permanently attach synthetic implants to live tissue, conceal irritating implants, permanently reinforce soft tissue, and fabricate membranes. During the development of our synthetic cornea, the Cornit Capro, we realized that our exceptional material could solve many other unmet medical needs. Currently, we have four products under development, leveraging the unique capabilities of our synthetic ECM. Our IP extends to many other solutions. Two of our products are already in clinical trials with outstanding results so far. Today, I would like to focus on two of our products. One cures a blinding disease, while the other reverses corneal blindness. They both demonstrate how out-of-the-box thinking, together with bold innovation, can bring about disruptive solutions that significantly impact human lives. By the way, they both won top prizes in leading prestigious international competitions, earning us global recognition for our innovation. I will start with the Cornit Ishan, our noble and revolutionary glaucoma drainage device. To better understand the innovation of the Cornit Ishan, we need to start with the human eye, our remarkable organ. In order to maintain the transparency of the cornea and the lens, the eye constantly produces a liquid called aqua humor that feeds the cell. It is produced behind the iris, travels through our pupil, and then it is absorbed around the cornea. Glaucoma, which is induced by high intraocular pressure, impacts the lives of approximately 80 million people globally. This condition irreversibly damages the optics nerve, gradually narrowing the patient's field of view and eventually leading to blindness. In order to avoid blindness, one must reduce the pressure in the eye. Despite the severity of this condition, none of the current treatments and surgical procedures provide long-term efficacy and predetermined pressure. Current solutions for severe glaucoma include lifelong drops, as well as incisional surgeries and shunts, also called glaucoma drainage devices. The latter are very invasive and clog at a rate of 10 to 20% a year. This area hasn't seen innovation in decades. As far as drops, patients struggle to maintain their use and comply with the prescribed regimen. The bottom line is that there is no long-term effective solution. This is where the Cornit Ishan comes into play. The Cornit Ishan is poised to replace the use of coronary glaucoma shunts and incisional surgeries used to treat severe glaucoma patients and provide for the first time a long-lasting cure for glaucoma while existing shunts rely on scarring processes occurring at the outlet to control flow our inlet does this by mimicking the structure of the trabecular mesh root, which is the natural tissue around the cornea that absorbs the liquid. This innovative idea allowed us to extend the shunt by just a few millimeters and position its outlet deep in the orbit in an area that has no fat and blood vessels and is less likely to clog, and by that solve the major challenge with existing shunts. The fact that the Cornit Ishan tube is coated with a biomimetic material eliminates the need to suture tissue over it. This significantly simplifies and cuts implementation time from around 45 minutes to under 10. This is key in making it more accessible. The innovation of the Cornit Ishan is poised to extend severe glaucoma treatment to millions of people around the world, stopping the progression of this devastating condition. And now our flagship device, the Cornit Capro, which is already revolutionizing corneal therapy providing for the first time a reliable synthetic substitute to the human cornea. The Cornit Capro will enable corneally blind patients around the world to fully rehabilitate their vision following a simple and straightforward procedure. A little bit of a background. The cornea is the front window of the eye. It is responsible for 70% of the eye's optical power. Together with the lens, it focuses light on the retina, creating an image in our mind. It must be spherical and transparent. For us to see. When your cornea is damaged, this is what your world looks like. 
there are over 20 different medical indications that damage the cornea's shape and transparency. Imagine seeing your loved ones and go about your daily lives in such a way. There are 2 million new cases of corneal blindness each year, and only a small fraction, approximately 150,000, are treated with donor tissue. This accumulates to about 10 million bilaterally blind patients, over 20 million who are unilaterally blind, close to 30 million additional patients who suffer from significant degraded or low vision and can benefit from a good and reliable solution. The challenge varies with geography. Corneal tissue supply is extremely limited and practically non-existent in many countries. In the few countries where tissue is abundant, 20% of the patients are not suitable or have failed one or more transplantations, reducing the chance of a successful subsequent implantation. The need to operate IBEX and train qualified surgeons to perform this delicate and complex procedure poses an additional challenge. Based on a recent JAMA study, there is only one cornea available for 70 needed. Corneal transplantation, also known as keratoplasty, is a procedure where a donor tissue replaces a damaged cornea. The success rate and visual acuity significantly vary between patients. Over 50% of so-called successful implantations end up with extremely distorted vision. Additional disadvantages include, include long healing time, reliance on donor tissue which can carry disease, and a long follow-up period. The rate of keratoplasty is not growing. All previous attempts to develop an artificial solution have failed to address the need. Due to low reliability and high rate of complications, these are only used as a last resort for patients who are not suitable for transplantation. Less than 1,000 devices are implanted each year. All solutions in the market today require harvested human tissue for integration and are very complex to implant and follow. The key innovation behind the Conid Capo lies in its integration approach. We call it thinking outside the sphere. Picture yourself trying to fix a hole in a cup full of water. I'm sure you can figure out which is the simpler option, patching the cup from the inside or taping it from the outside. Surprisingly, no one thought of the latter. All previous attempts and corneal transplantation try to integrate with the native cornea, a tissue that heals very poorly. We, on the other hand, leverage our unique technology to permanently integrate our device under the conjunctiva, the white part of the eye an area that is rich with blood vessels and heals vigorously. This innovation with integration concept provides a much stronger and reliable mechanical bond that is established within weeks and does not require extensive follow-up. It also relieves physicians from the need to delicately suture and align one soft optical tissue to another. Here is a quick animation of the implantation procedure. The device is fastened to the eye wall by pulling out the three sutures and then tying them up between the device skirt and the sclera. This step ensures centration, retention, and ease of implantation. Using a dedicated spatula called the snapper, the corneal rim, which is stained for ease of visualization, is snapped into the device's posterior undercut. The marked paracentesis lines direct the surgeon when inserting the snapper. The conjunctiva is repositioned, thus covering the skirt and is then sutured into place using degradable sutures. Following implantation, progressive tissue integration ensues. Fibroblasts and collagen gradually colonize the integrating skirt. Full integration is achieved within weeks, permanently embedding the device within the patient's eye. With The Chronique K-Pro is superior to coronal transplantation in many aspects. Our K-Pro 70mm aperture lens provides exceptional visual performance that is equivalent to a perfect cornea. Combining this with a simple procedure, no need for donor tissue, and a short and simple follow-up allows a solution to be truly scalable and generate a significant global impact, including in countries where corneal transplantations are non-existent. I was privileged to experience firsthand the life-changing impact of our solutions a truly emotional moment. כבר שנים ארוכות שג'מאל מחיפה עיוור, אבל עכשיו המצאה ישראלית חדשה עומדת להחזיר לו את מאור עיניו. מאיר מרציאנו, כתבנו לענייני בריאות, ליווה אותו במעמד המרגש.
אני כמעט לא רואה לחלוטין. אם יש לי ידיד, שכן שלי, דומה לך, הוא יושב עכשיו כאן, אני לא יכול לדעת מי השכן, אתה או הוא. ג'מאל פורני מחיפה נותח ארבעה ניתוחים שבהם ניסו להציל את מאור עיניו, כולם נכשלו. ג'מאל, אז אנחנו מנתחים היום את העין הימנית, נכון? נכון מאוד. שהשתל שלך הוא לגמרי, לגמרי עכור. בעקבות בצקות ומחלות רקע, הקרנית של ג'מאל נפגעה והוא איבד את היכולת לראות ולהסתדר לבד. אשתי הייתה נשארת בכם, הייתי מתעוור לחלוטין. לא הייתי דואג, תאמיני לי, כי היא הייתה העיניים שלי. נולד לו נכד חדש לפני חודשיים. הוא חסר, עדיין חסר את המשהו הזה, שהוא לזהות, להרגיש את זה, כי לראות בעיניים זה לא כמו רק לשמוע או להרגיש. אחרי כל ניתוח של ג'מאל, גם הסיכויים של הניתוח הבא להצליח פחתו מאוד. כל הליך רפואי חשף את העין לזיהומים נוספים והפחית את הסיכוי לשוב ולראות. העיניים האלה בדרך כלל שמגיעות לניתוחים האלה, לניתוחים של השתלות קרנית מלאכותית, הן עיניים מורכבות. אנשים מגיעים לניתוח הזה בדרך כלל עם הגב לקיר. עד היום כדי להשתיל קרנית בעינו של מטופל צריך היה להשיג קרנית מאדם אחר או להיעזר בטכנולוגיות אחרות ומסובכות. במהלך השנים האחרונות פותחה במעבדה בישראל קרנית מלאכותית שהשתלתה יכולה להתבצע בשיטות חדשניות הרבה יותר. החידוש פה הוא האפשרות לקחת משהו סינתטי לגמרי שאין עליו בכלל תאים או רקמה ולהטמיע אותו כך בין שכבות דופן עין בעצם להפוך אותו לחלק מהגוף. הפיתוח החדש הזה מאפשר לקרנית העין המלאכותית להיקלט בגוף באמצעות התאים הקיימים בעין. הפרוטזה הזו, הקרנית הזו, אתה הראשון שישתילו אותה בעין שלך. Today is the big day. We're going to implant our first ever capro in a blind human subject. ג'מאל מתכונן להיכנס לניתוח בתקווה שהפעם הוא יסתיים בהצלחה. יממה לאחר הניתוח חזרנו אליו, המתח בחדר הורגש כשהרופאים הסירו את התחבושות. אתה רואה פה את האצבעות שלי? חמש, זה זאת. זירו בסוף. נכון. מתחת לאפס. נכון. ארבע ושתיים עלינו. מהמם. קודם את החמש הוא לא היה רואה. אתה רואה? כל הכבוד. וואו, מרגש. מרגש, מרגש. 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 עשרות שנים שבהן ראייתו הלכה ונחלשה, ג'מאל חזר לראות. כמה שאתם מסמכים, אני עוד שם. זה אוצר שלי. אני רוצה לראות. ג'מאל הוא אקסטרימלי חפי עם הפרסומה והפרסומה והפרסומה. אין לו קומפלנט או פעם או דיסקומפורט. On the top left, you can see Jamal's eye before the operation. Immediately after, the dramatic aesthetic impact was already apparent. A couple of weeks later, once the eye healed, his eye looked completely natural. Jamal's story touched many people and gave hope to millions. Opportunities to make an impact and help the disabled are everywhere. Do not be intimidated by the skeptics. Remember, experts may know a lot about the, the past, but innovators define the future. I encourage you to dream, to dare, and to make a difference. Thank you. And thank you so much for this talk, for telling us about the amazing innovations that you've created. I think the, the big thing that's coming out of this for me is just recognizing that you know, disability doesn't need to be a permanent state of being, that there are you know, ins and outs for somebody with a disability through technological and innovative things that people like you are bold enough to, you know, go out, create, pursue, and, you know, turn into action. You're really, you're changing people's lives. So thank you so much for doing what you do and sharing it with us today. Thank you.